Well, I took this part out because it's looking for the oil leak, and I think I know where it is. It's an oil pump, so it's not getting fixed. <laughs> I was like pulling all that bullshit apart. Um, but I figured when I had this part out, um, this is the mount for the alternator the, and the AC compressor. The AC compressor um, has these two bolts and these two bolts, four, right? 13 millimeter bolts. And this thing is held in by one, two, three, then one on a side right here. Okay. You know, now, I, I'm almost pretty, without even reading the book, I'm pretty certain why this has this little thing on the bottom here. That's for the cradle. I'm pretty sure that, I mean, I, I would think why the hell would they have something like this? In other words, when you're dropping a whole engine transmission from the bottom, that probably is one of the sparks where the cradle goes. You see, this pole can go right in there. Well, I'm, I am sure of it without even reading a book, okay? <laughs> um, now, this is what I was talking about. Here's the adjuster. In other words, if you would uh, loosen this bolt here, if you're doing the untensioning the uh, pulley um, for you know to uh, replace the uh, serpentine belt or whatever, and you know in this case was taking out the alternator. You'd remove you not not remove this bolt. You'd actually just uh, loosen it up, and the slider inside is works with this, with this this bolt. And I'll actually take this out of here so you can see exactly. Well, you can see it right there. See, see the slider. That piece of metal right there. The other bolt rests on the opposite side of it, so it pushes this whole wheel in and out. So, actually, when I looked, just to give you an idea, I don't know, I'm just going to post this just for the hell of it because uh, <laughs> it could be helpful for somebody. But, you know, I thought, you know, like most people would think, oh, it's the oil pan, oh, it's the front seal, no, it ain't. It's actually uh, coming from, looks like the pump. I think the pump is right here. The oil pump is in the front. So that was behind this. And there's nothing really to tight. Everything's on there is tight. It's just a you know a shitty gasket or some bullshit. So it's going back together the way the hell it is. It's not a bad leak. It's not that bad, but I just wanted to get rid of it if I could. But uh, to pull out the pump on this thing, be like pull out the fit timing belt again and all that. You know, it's like Jesus Christ. They need to make this with uh, six big wing nuts. Uh, torque down to about 100 foot pounds, and then you just drop the whole engine trans assembly with the axles at once. Be a lot easier to work on, but nah, that's why I would have done it anyway. So, my oil leak was right up there, you go, right up in that area there. Probably where one of those Allen bolts is, or something. It's not actually maybe coming from there, but it's probably like the gasket between the uh oil pump I think that goes on the front of the engine here I think that's the oil pump itself so anyway pretty sure it's the oil pump without looking it up so anyway the hell with that bullshit that is not getting fixed so we'll just leave it alone the alternator is going back in but I figured while this is out I figured I might as well show people a couple things oh by the way if you ever pull out your starter uh, you don't need to drop this exhaust pipe I had that in another video you just put a jack under the engine over there and you can drag jack it up, you know, not like a real lot where you're going to break the motor mounts, but you, if they're rubber, they can, it can go up about an inch. And it'll give you enough clearance to take that out, alright? So, anyway, over and out.